Hey guys, Laburn NDA here, and this time I'm bringing you some Uncharted 3. I know I promised in the Battlefield 3 video that I was going to show you my first game, but I realized that it wasn't all that exciting, so instead I'm going to show you the end of it. Uh, basically, so you can see the my first score, and then I'll show you a, a better gameplay footage, a better match uh, for this commentary. So as you can see there, first match I was five and three with three assists. So uh, not the greatest way to start out, but not bad at all. Could be a lot worse. And as you can see right there, I got the achievement, uh, or sorry, trophy. Uh, in the case of the PS3, uh, you get the trophy for completing your first competitive match, and I think there's also another one uh, for co-op. And that those are the only two. Uh, that you need uh, for the platinum trophy so uh, as far as online is concerned the rest of them are in single player so just like the first well the first one didn't have online but the second one uh, you don't have to worry too much about the online achievements uh, or trophies again I keep saying achievements uh, trophies uh, to get all get the platinum trophy so uh, yeah so uh, Right here, and uh, I'm sorry, I don't really know the, the maps or the map names too well. Uh, so I'm not going to even bother attempting it. Uh, but I, I do like this map. This is a map I, I seem to get a lot in the rotation, and I usually do well in. Uh, what's funny in this match, however, is I think there is a guy who's like my nemesis. And I think it's that shadow guy. Uh, it's always a nice battle, and I think in most cases he was winning the battle, but... Uh, it was a good battle, nevertheless. Uh, so, uh, if you watched my Battlefield 3 video, I left you on a kind of a cliffhanger when it comes to Uncharted 3, and I said it wasn't as good as Uncharted 2. And I completed the campaign for Uncharted 3, and I put quite a few hours in the multiplayer. Now, let me basically clarify... Uh, when I say it's not as good as Uncharted 2, I'm strictly talking about the single player. I think as far as the online is, is concerned, they took what was in Uncharted 2 and improved on it quite a bit. Uh, basically added more depth uh, to the multiplayer experience, which is never a bad thing. Uh, sure, there's some things that maybe uh, can crop up a little later, just like, you know, in games like Call of Duty and even Battlefield that uh, might become an uh, annoyance or or what thing weapons that are considered like the go-to weapon or the noob weapon as you a lot of people like to call them uh, I haven't really found too many of those just yet again I didn't put a ton of hours into it I do definitely play, plan to play some more this weekend however so anyway got off track there uh, when I I mentioned that it wasn't as good as in Church 2. I strictly meant the single player, the campaign, the story mode, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and let me explain that. First of all, I want to say, and by the way, I'm showboating there a little bit. I thought that was a pretty cool little taunt. Uh, anyway, uh, I just want to say off the bat, the set pieces in Uncharted 3 are, are really good. Uh, the problem is we already seen them, at least most of us, if you've watched any Uncharted 3 footage or details as well, at all. Uh, you already kind of know the majority of the set pieces in the game. Uh, with that said, they're still fun to play, and uh, I particularly like the cargo plane and, and uh, the ship levels, uh, pretty cool as well. Uh, a lot of people were trying to say the ship level without giving away any spoilers was like the best set piece in Uncharted, the franchise. Uh, I don't know about that. Like, I, it was good, yes, but uh, I kind of like the train level uh, in Uncharted too. And I, when I say train level, I mean all of the train level, not just the uh, the on like you know the literally on rail section, but the climbing up at the start of the game and. And again, you repeat that section again, uh, climbing up the train as it's hanging over the cliff. And all that section I thought was very well done. Uh, but, you know, like, when it comes to Uncharted 3, the set pieces again are great. But the story, while 
has potential to be very good. I do like uh, that how it goes kind of into Drake's or, or Nate's uh, backstory. And you do actually have a flashback sequence when he was younger and when he first met Sully, uh, which is kind of cool. I actually did enjoy that. Not a ton of action in that sequence, although it is at the start of the game. But I don't mind that at all. I I actually kind of really like that type of stuff. That's one thing I like about Uncharted, is there, and especially with Naughty Dog, they're not afraid, you know, to uh, uh, have some downtime in a game in order to uh, uh, in uh, in order to heighten the the immersion factor. And there's another part in the game which I won't give away. Uh, I will say it is in the desert uh, where they kind of go that route as well. Where there's, again, not a lot of action, but uh, they do it for the immersion factor, which is good. I like that stuff. Uh, the biggest problem I had with Uncharted 3 uh, was the... I would say, well, I guess the ending. I, I found... Parts of the story were not flushed out enough. Now, I'm someone who likes uh, having some kind of loose ends in the sense that it gives people the means to come up with their own explanations. And I do like that. And uh, a lot of what was in Uncharted 3 story is left to interpretation. Uh, but... With, again, I don't. It's hard to really say a lot without giving spoilers, so I won't. Uh, but there were just a few th loose ends in the campaign that I, I thought they could have either uh, expanded upon or uh, completely close up entirely, and they didn't. So basically, without giving away spoilers, Uncharted Two was more of a. Uh, complete experience i found it was very fleshed out it was it was just almost perfect of a game when, when it comes to the pacing and and uh, so on uh by the way the voice acting in this game is top notch as usual uh shouldn't expect anything different from naughty dog uh so but yeah that's basically uh what I thought of the the campaign, I, I found that it was somewhat disjointed in certain areas and kind of, uh, uh, I guess, yeah, again, I guess it's just disjointed. I, I found that uh, it had potential. I think that's where I found, where I'm disappointed the most, is that the story had extreme potential. And it felt very rushed. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It felt very rushed. Whereas Uncharted 2 was very uh, polished. A very polished game. Uh, even when it comes to bugs. And I did find a few glitches. Although most of them are probably graphical glitches that don't really matter to the gameplay. Uh, in particular, when Drake's climbing up certain ladders, uh, his arms will kind of go through the, the, the rung of the... You know the uh, ladder, uh, things like that. I didn't have any freezes. Apparently, people have had freezes. With that said, I've had uh, freezes in Uncharted 2, and uh, I think it was chapter 23 or 22, 23 around there. Uh, very uh, common freeze. But other than that, I didn't have any problems with Uncharted 2. Uh, a Charter 3, again, no freezes at all, at least on my first playthrough. I will be playing through again probably multiple times. I mean, it is a good game. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it might I might sound very negative, but it is a great game. Uh, if you're an Uncharted fan, you're going to love it. I mean, it's still Uncharted. Again, you might feel a bit disappointed considering the excellence of Uncharted 2. Uh, but overall, very good. Uh, but yeah. That's basically it when it comes to the campaign. Uh, when it comes to the online, as I said earlier in the commentary, it's basically the Uncharted 2 multiplayer uh, with a lot more added into it. And uh, they, they obviously spent more time on the multiplayer. And, and uh, to be honest, with you, that could be why uh, the single player lacks some form of polish. And uh, by the way, uh, 
I don't want to sound like a graphics whore by any means, but I find, and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, I found that Uncharted 3 was very inconsistent in the graphical department. Uh, again, compared to Uncharted 2, which is, you know, talking about Uncharted 2 here, I mean, it's very, uh, it's very hard to complete, to uh, completely outdo that game. Uh, but again, I think it's due to lack of polish in the game. But I found that the graphics were kind of, I don't want to say washed out, but it, it had a bit of more of a duller look. I found the color palette in Uncharted 2 was a, a lot more vibrant of, and I, I really added to the style. Now, it could just simply be that's the intent of the developer and uh, the and for the, the locales in the game and that could very well be but I found that Uncharted 2 had a better overall looking game uh, now I I don't know if it's necessarily due to the 3d uh, apparently uh, they designed the game first as a 2d game uh, and then uh, did the 3d element later and uh, actually scaled it back uh, just for the 3D, however, uh, scale the back. And that's basically due to they have the Blu-ray, so they can really uh, add extra stuff, like maybe more like two different textures for the same, te you know, uh, have a, a high and a low quality texture. Uh, I don't know exactly what they did, but apparently they uh, downgraded it for the 3D a little bit to uh, give you a smoother 3D experience. Uh, so hopefully that's true. Uh, but again, I found Uncharted 2 to be the better looking game overall. Now, that's not to say, again, the boat level uh, is great looking. Uh, it's, uh, specifically, the water and how everything moves around. The way Drake, uh, sorry, Drake reacts to it. Uh, pretty cool. The cargo the, the cargo ship, another great... Uh, the cargo plane, sorry, the, another great uh, area. Uh, I mean, there's some, definitely some great-looking areas. And don't get me wrong. I mean, Uncharted 3 is still a great-looking game. It's probably one of the best-looking games to date. Uh, only possibly being surpassed by Uncharted 2, uh, Crisis 2, and uh, as far as consoles, I can't really think of too many others. Uh, Kill Zones up there, I guess, but... Uh, I would say probably Crisis 2 uh, would be one of the top ones for me when it comes to console uh, graphics. Uh, Uncharted 2 is very hard to beat though. Uh, but again, when it comes to graphics, and it depends on how you look at it, uh, you have to judge it based on the uh, what they're trying to do with the game. I mean, Uncharted, uh, in its very nature, is a linear uh, type of cinematic experience. So as a result, they can really fine-tune... Uh, the performance, uh, since they are t basically tunneling you through a certain area, and they can add these great-looking vistas because they know exactly what you're going to be seeing uh, at any given time. Whereas something like Uncharted, uh, sorry, something like Crisis 2. By the way, there was a an epic fail to end the video. Uh, you know, it's more open, or even the downloadable Crisis is even more open. Uh, when it comes to that, so it's hard to really say who the graphic king is, but uh, Uncharted 2 is definitely one of the top, and Uncharted 3 is just slightly below that, I would say, as a whole package. Uh, anyway, until next time, this is LeBurn98 signing off, and I'll probably be putting both some more Uncharted 3 multiplayer and some uh, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, anyways, take care, guys. See ya.